you know, I was on the TikTok streets and there's this one video that I heard the minister talking. I said, well, even the minister talking, I had to look up. I said, boy, the minister going in, going in about these women that talk bad about brothers, but let's review it. You'll never be a happy woman dogging your man out. He's not a man yet, but he will be. But if you keep on dogging him, you won't have nothing. And you'll end up being a lesbian at home with yourself. With no man by your side because your damn mouth. Who man, boy, I tell you, the minister. I tell boy, I, boy, I'm telling y'all, you boy, if you look at some of the things that Minister Farrakhan talk about, I'm telling you, you brothers would be loving it, man. Especially young Minister Farrakhan. You go so, listen to some of them speeches, man. But the minister talks about how you have some of them in our community that love to talk down on the brothers. Look at all those women that you may see online that have so much venom for black men. Venom. They can't stand black men. You notice they're never happy. Now the minister said that they're going to be a lesbian and maybe some of them are, but they have a lot of them. All they do is just bad mouth a brother. When you have so much venom and hatred toward the opposite gender in your community, you have cancer of the soul. And even if you don't fool with a black man, fine, no problem. Get Brad, get whoever. It's no, it's no issue. You will not bring true love to that man because you still have hatred in your soul. And hatred is like cancer. You can, you, it's going to spread all over, even into those relationships. This is why Brad don't even want to marry they behind. Because they can't love Brad the right way because they have all this venom and hatred toward the black man. A lot of venom and hatred come from their failed relationships. It didn't, they picked the wrong guy. It didn't work out right. Some of them got pregnant and the man didn't want to deal with, didn't want the kid. And now some of them on a tirade because the man didn't want the kid, which is, I don't agree with that. You know, Hey, if you make a kid, then you need to take care of your children. But some of them get on a tirade with that. They always talking crap about black men always. And the majority of them don't have a man period and definitely don't have a black man. Cause any, any self-respecting black man would not sit up here and be entertaining or even allowing his wife to be speaking so ill of brothers. That wouldn't even make sense because she would have a black man in her house loving her. The only way he would allow that unless he are understand what she doing is just basically phony and she run up a check and he cool with it. Cause she's run up a check and they both in agreement with her running up a check in that manner. But the majority of men is not on that. Let's call it what it is. They're never, never happy, but let's continue. It's what it is. It's a sneak pit. And a man can't live under that because he got enough hell on his head as it is trying to function in a white man's world. And he needs a wife that has compassion and understanding. And that's the value of the MGT. The MGT is supposed to make you a woman to help you make a man for God. Now, Minister Farrakhan was talking about the MGT, which means Muslim girl training, right? And they teach them how to be women. They teach them about, you know, fitness. They teach them about uh, things like sewing, cooking, cleaning, you know, teach them how to be a lady, right? Teach them how to be a wife, how to be a mother. I, look, what I've seen, this are my personal uh, things I've seen. I think every woman in America, every woman in America should go through MGT training. They really should. If every woman in America will go through the nation of Islam program of the MGT training, we wouldn't have the problems that we have today. You don't see those, those Muslim women out here, uh, twerking and all that. These women are covered. These women are respectful. They still walk in their femininity. And we need that in society. We really do. 
those women out here today, the reason why they, some of them are so venomous is because they, they don't have no love. They, they have no man. They have nothing. So all they have is maybe I can run up a check on, on online. Maybe I, I, oh, I found me a little community of women who feel like me, who's miserable like me, who, who, who just looking every day for something wrong that a black man did. And you can find something wrong with a black man did every day. It's kind of easy to do with this media in this country. It's very easy. But at the end of the day, once you cut the lights off, once the microphone turns off, once the camera turns off, you still got to deal with you. And you were our failure. And in, in your failure, because you don't accept accountability and which is one thing that happens with a lot, not all, a lot of women, you fail to self-reflect and hold yourself, your, yourself accountable. Cause see those women always talking about, well, we need to hold black men accountable. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You don't have a black man to hold accountable. You ain't got no black man in your house to hold accountable. The only one you need to hold accountable is yourself and ask yourself this question. Why have I failed to obtain the man I really want? Was it my mouth? that caused me to fail? Was it my ways? Am I acting too much like a man? What is it that caused me to fail? Instead of you answering those questions within yourself and fixing it, you scour the internet looking for any little thing to talk negative about black men. And you can talk about black men to, to, to the cows come home. You're going to keep getting older. You're going to keep getting grayer, even though you wear, you using hair color, you will keep getting grayer and you are still going to be by yourself. While those men you're talking about, they're not talking about you like that. They don't have the venom for you like that. They're going to have them a woman. Well, they have their woman here in America, all overseas. They're going to have them a woman while you're in America, still talking in your one bedroom apartment. Those men going to be living their life and enjoying their life. That's the difference. You could be enjoying your life too. Stop talking down so much on, on the brothers. I'm talking about in a venomous way. And you know what I mean by venomous, get some love in your heart. And maybe just maybe a black man will see that love in your heart and how, how great you are and actually decide to be with you. But as long as you have that hate, you will always, always, always suffer and be alone. No matter how many YouTube videos or Instagram or TikTok or whatever you make about black men, no matter how much checks you run up talking bad about black men. Once the, the cameras are off, you by yourself and alone. But let me know what y'all think about, you know, what the minister is saying here. Like I said, I, I don't, you know, I'm just trying to say this just to help. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to help those women. I, 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 I still say, Hey, you still, you know, uh, maybe there's some hope for some of you. Maybe the prodigal daughter can come back. You know, I'm, I'm a believer in the prodigal daughter coming back. It's fine, but she has to clean herself up before she come back into the house. But you, you'll never, you'll never be satisfied. Always talking down on brothers. 